Andrew Vanderbilt. Hey, let's you were going to talk about Phil. Uh, go, come on. Uh, you're really going to open that. Come on. Oh. Oh, he's so awesome. Okay. We are basically now. This the bed frame is gone. There's a few pieces of board. And of course our old rejected um okay, headboard. My mom says she doesn't want it in, in the new house. Because she doesn't want the nastiness that was on the mattress to get well, the window mattress and probably got onto, you know but you no know, headboard, you know, this bookcase thing to get into the new house and make the house nasty. So we are going to have to throw it away. I'm not gonna destroy it because it's awesome looking. It's actually awesome. It looks like it was actually very well made compared to that bed, but still, you know, gotta get rid of it. And I was going to mess around and do it, stuff like this. Let's see what I can do. Put this pocket here. Come on, Close to me, put this down. Okay. Which one's which, which one's where? Oh, that'll do it, that'll do it. Go. Gotta do a little flashback. Back in the old days. Oh no. Mm. Go down there. Yeah, Back in the old days of oh, great God. Of um Hero Web Comics. Back when I had a uh, necklace. A blessed, you know, uh, camera necklace. It was like so great, you know. I had a camera necklace. I was able to, you know, have it around my neck, you know, duct tape, cardboard, duct tape. Bit of you know two liter soda bottles as their as, as the awning for it. It was as, as the rain cover for it. It was so wonderful. Unfortunately, mom's like, yeah, that's so. Uh, you know. Mom's like, yeah, yeah, we can't mess around. You know that stuff makes you look like a suicide bomber, man. Get it, you know, or something like that. It's like, oh uh, yeah, I understand. So, and also, you know, turns out people do not like knowing that there's a camera in their face like that, and, you know, figuring it out. And then they see it, and they're like, oh, it's a camera. Okay, get out of the way. They don't like it when it's like, oh, wait, what is that a camera? Oh, I see you've been filming me the whole time. Oh, man, you know, I got warrants, man. You can't, you know, you can't just do that to me. You know, come on, man, seriously. You know, so, not exactly, but so that's what it looked like. That's what it seemed like. So, basically, we got to get rid of this thing. Also, we're all friends with us waiting for the truck, the movie truck to come. We got an answer. We got, um, I had to leave an um, answering, a uh, voicemail message for the guy who was supposed to bring it, bringing it, wondering, because we were wondering when it was supposed to get here and stuff like that. And he, he got a voicemail message. So he's like, you know, hey, you know, you know, we need that thing that's really important for us to get, you need to get right now. Mm. And, uh, I'm, I'm keeping that. Mm. This, I'm not keeping. Mm. I don't need this. The thing that it goes to doesn't work anymore. Mm. This, however, is a beautiful, wonderful piece of inexpensive engineering <clears throat> okay look at that yeah. ridges that are not foam <clears throat> on there a very nice little point all plastic construction very nice very beautiful look at that hook on that end oh my goodness it's so beautiful so amazing those are some of my favorite kinds of pencils <clears throat> they cost like four a four pack is like two like two dollars four or five pack is like two dollars for these two five of these for two dollars at Rite Aid, land of overpriced stuff. It's so great. <clears throat> two dollars, I'll pay two dollars for those. For a five pack of those, with like three leads in each. <laughs> that'll last for like a weeks, man. <clears throat> that'll last for weeks, and it'll be a wonderful, glorious time. Intricate drawing of moving characters and comic book characters and all kinds of cool stuff. Now, here's the deal. I'm gonna have to go um, <clears throat> turn this thing around so that you can't see anything. <clears throat> um, so, or act, yeah. <clears throat> actually, I might wait till the next video to actually show anything. So I'm gonna go and wait till the next video or not? Yeah. I'll, I'll turn around. So I'll turn around. So, yeah, so I can't see anything because we're doing kind of very top secret, high level top secret stuff. So let's go. Mm. Let's go. Let's get yep, down the stairs. Okay, this might get awkward. Not so awkward as the mattress was, as, as the uh, bed frame was. Mm. It's very well done. Yeah. You know, this is the crown jewel of the whole collection mm. of, the, of both of those things. That bed mattress was like must have been rushed. <laughs> they must have been like okay, but mad. Uh, they must have been rushed. They were like, okay, let's build this, uh, take a few days and build this thing. <laughs> you know, or let's take a few hours, a you know, long time, you know, a long time to build this thing. You know, he's like, all right, this is sturdy, nice and sturdy. It'll hold all kinds of stuff. Stand up to all years of punishment. You know, as long as you're, you're careful with it. You know, don't drop it downstairs or anything. And it's like, you know, but then it's like, okay, uh, oh crap, I need to build that bed to go with this. All right, so I'll zap, slap that together. All right, good. It's done. Uh, spread away. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, spiders are not bad. But there are also, I, I am filming. <clears throat> That's what I just want to say. But I, I haven't turned around, so you can't, you can't see anything. Uh, you can only hear me. Oh. Basically, uh, spider web, spiders aren't so bad. Better <clears throat> some other creatures I know of. But, you know, we did find one the size of a, of a um, Cocoa Puff. <clears throat> so, we're kind of a little freaked out about any spider webs we find now. But, um, 
Yeah. And actually, I'm gonna name her. I'm gonna name her Coco Boss. I named her Coco Boss. Ugh. Put her out in the backyard. Hopefully, she's okay. Even though it snowed, but yeah. You know, she's a spider. She knows how to do stuff. She can handle her business. Find a nice patch of leaves. You tie those together with a webbing. You know, make a nice little comfortable cocoon to hang out in. Have her bait, lay her eggs. Raise her baby. Great. Let me great. This good stuff. Let me great. Let me great. All right. Well, we're out here now. If I'm trying to just junk pile, that's the bed right there. There's some other junk. And unfortunately, has to, this has to go on there too. There you go. Ooh, see? That's pretty tough. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, yeah, there we go. All right, going. And it's snowing. Yeah, so we're going to. I'll see you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube. DVD Art, especially here for us, Neil. Oh, DVD Art. Oh, yeah, ice. Mm -hmm. Oh, slush. Mm -hmm. But we put salt down, so that, that helps out a little bit. Ugh, nasty. Uh, here, for me on DVD Art. Uh, and how um, Slime section ended, as well as my. Uh, you have yourself a deal by James A. Chase fan ending. It is very violent because, well, pretty violent because it's like same kind of stuff as the other stuff was. Uh, the book was. Oh, yeah. Let's do it again. Well, one Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, all right. Put it in my bag over here. Or I'll put it on here. Okay. Uh, still, yeah, still filming as well. So I haven't uh, turned. I have. It's up. I, tur I, I turned it around again, so it's, it can't see anything. You know, so the camera can't see anything. Uh, let me see here. Uh, oh yeah, you have yourself a deal with James Haley Chase. Was a R-rated, kind of pretty, you know, R-rated spy thriller like 007 type stuff. James Bond 007 type stuff. So basically, there was a part where this girl gets killed because she looks like this other girl, right? Well, the way they did it in the book was so silly and could have easily been avoided that it's just I had to make a comic book about it. I'll do it away in a way that could not be easily avoided. <clears throat> you know, it was like a sniper. <clears throat> in the book, it was a sniper. So, you know, basically, who was forewarned by the boss of the hero. The, the hero said, okay, listen, you know, <clears throat> listen, okay. Uh, uh, let's see here. Where is it? Here we go. Right, go, go clean the wood chips and all that stuff up. Uh, I get my oh, there's a bag. There's a bag there. Dustpan. Mm. Dustpan. Real. Dustpan. Uh, ooh. Oh, actually, don't need that. Dustpan. Found another one. I know this one. Oh, uh, so he's like, he's like, basically, I found my my secretary was found dead half an hour ago. <clears throat> okay, that's what his boss says. Okay, so and I found a puncture mark in her arm. You know, that looks like uh, like a, a needle, hypodermic needle. So that means like. She, if she got truth serum, she talked, and that means she know she told bla told the person whoever it was, whatever faction, whatever uh, country sent those goons out, uh, countries, uh, whatever countries goons those were uh, that killed her, that uh, yo they know where you you are, okay? Uh, now you're you know I have six sick me guys patrolling the place. I'm gonna six, send six more down, and do not let this girl you know this girl that you're protecting, because she has vital information on uh, the, uh, one of the countries. Uh, all right, that you're trying to get to defend, you know, that you're, you're trying to uh, keep her, you know, from the countries that's trying to find her and kill her. Do not let her do that. Do not let her mess around and uh, get, you know, out in the open. Do not let her go into the terrace. All right, that's what they said. Yeah, that's what the guy said. Okay, yeah, put down so I can get to clean it. We're at DEFCON 1 now. DEFCON 1. We're, we're at high alert, full blast skadoosh mode, as Kobani Mai says. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I like the Kumar Money. I'm loving this playing Side Boom now, and actually, it has a good opinion. Of, well, sort of good opinion. I, 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 sort of, I, here's the issue with me. Now there can be three franchises. <laughs> three. Okay? Classic Sonic franchise. <laughs> they need to annualize a classic Sonic game every year, give it to a, like a novice team that knows a little, you know, can play, you can do 8 bit types, you know, sort of 8 bit, 16 bit type stuff. <laughs> okay? Then they have Modern Sonic, <laughs> you know? Running fast, like aware, like um, on Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Colors, you know, all kinds of crazy, awesome, cool stuff in 3D and cool stuff like that. They need to have that, <clears throat> okay? Modern, pure Sonic. Maybe get some DLC collectibles, just characters, stages, uh, things like that. <clears throat> Bad guys, things like that. Boss battles, things like that. You know, hook that up. Then have the Sonic Boom series franchise, which is being done by someone else. Ooh, great, big Red Button Entertainment. <clears throat> they are doing. Sonic franchise, okay? They're helping out with the Sonic franchise. So they can continue the Sonic Boom franchise as a different Sonic franchise than the other two. <laughs> I would have no problem with that at all because I'd be like, okay. You know, because it'd be like, you know, say Final Fantasy, uh, Square Enix, mm, okay? Square Enix or Capcom. Mm. Square Enix has Final Fantasy. Mm. They had Star Ocean, mm, and I hope they bring it back again somehow. I'll give them, I'll give, make sure, clean ideas for them on DeviantArt. Oh yeah, well, no, I'm over here. 
I'll put like a wide lens, wide angle. There we go. <clears throat> put it back as far as possible. Uh, and basically, DeviantArt, you know, put a, I'll put a lot of, of storyboards on DeviantArt for them for the, for ideas for games. So anyway, but still, the um, what's it called? The uh, what is it? What is it? Oh yeah, I'm wearing my Wolverine shirt. Oh, my uh, roommate gave it to me. <laughs> You know, for Halloween, you know, right before he left, too, so it was really cool. There was a mask, too, and mom's, my mom, and you know, everybody said that my mom agreed that Wolverine costume was the best costume for my personality. I'm like, ah, I don't really feel the berserker of rage, man. You know, was there an Iron Man costume? You know, someone who likes to invent crazy things, you know, that are awesome, but some people may not think they're awesome, but are awesome, so, you know. You know, that's, yeah, I'm getting an Iron Man one. I like Wolverine. I do like him, but I don't know if I am. A Wolverine care type character. Is this now? I don't know about that. Anyway, we'll get on to it. Anyway. Anyway. Um. Yeah, so I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, they Capcom. They had Saga Frontier. <clears throat> Xeno Saga. They had, uh, what was it? Square and Square and Enix. Oh, Star Ocean. Yeah, we used to. Square. Let's, let's focus on Square. They had Saga Frontier. <laughs> Xeno Saga, Unlimited, you know, all these other things. You know, was it Secret of Mana? Was Secret of Mana? No, that was Capcom. <laughs> Why isn't there another one of those? Capcom? <clears throat> Why isn't there? <laughs> you know, are you tired of making money? <clears throat> I heard you were you know, in dire straits. I thought you were in the red. You know, you need to make money? Make a Secret of Mana game. <clears throat> Remake that three, you know, chibi 3D. Chibi 3D, not, not. You know, well, no, no. Chibi 3D. <clears throat> Maybe make a cartoon version, cartoon cutscenes in actual. Test out the actual cartoon 3D or, or something like that in, in cutscenes, perhaps. But they have the main game be played in Chibi 3D, kind of like the original <clears throat> Final Fantasy, you know, Secret of Mana, okay? That would be awesome because then it'd be like Chibi, <clears throat> you know? Little Chibi characters, and you're like, oh, they're so cute. And you're like, okay, let's, let's kill these things. <laughs> you know, so you're right. I'd love to see that. <clears throat> I'd love to see that. <clears throat> It's so great. Uh, next, though, uh, yeah, uh, Capcom. They have a uh, street. They have street. They have Street Fighter. They have Mega Man. They have Breath of Fire. They have uh, Final Fight. Mm. They had Mega Man Legends. They, they, these guys were all over the place, mm. and it was it was pretty awesome when it worked. It was pretty not awesome when it didn't work, but still, mm. you know, you know, do not blame your customers for this. Mm. You know, Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter was horrible because of it punished you for being a dragon. Mm. You know, Mega Man Legends could have been good if you actually were like, hey, let's actually make Mega Man Legends. Get a few people off of the, the like, Street Fighter game, because that's, that's, that's no problem, mm, you know. There are plenty of people working on that. Mm, and uh, make finish Mega Man Legends. At least give us a rushed game. Mm, you know, let's at least give them a, a rushed and unfinished game instead of no game at all. Come on. Mm, that would have been better. Mm, you know, tell me if you think that you agree or disagree with Thomas. Anyway, let's see. Yeah. Got to clean here. Uh, let me see. No, no, I'm basically getting up. I have big stuff that the vacuum. I have a vacuum. Yeah, don't worry. I have a vacuum. Mm -hmm. I'm just using these to get up the big stuff for the vacuum will choke on. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's basically it. Ah, my old a puzzle piece from my old model seat. Hmm, nice. Well, it's got it's got filthy, so yeah, there it goes. Mm -hmm. It got filthy, so there it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely you know saying goodbye, you know, in a way. But anyway. You know, all kinds of different places. Nintendo, oh, see? Yeah, so Sonic, franchise, Sega, Big Red Button, mm -hmm. all you guys, Nintendo, all you guys, you guys can have more than one Sonic franchise. You guys can annualize the Sonic franchise. <laughs> Some Sonic franchises. We need that, okay? We already have annualized Call of Duty. We already have annualized, you know, some other things. We need annualized Sonic. <laughs> annualized Mario. You have to annualize Mar Sonic, come on. <laughs> Sonic Bear Co-op, you know? Sonic, you know, uh, I know about Sonic, you know, but we also need a uh, Wario World game, 4 by called Wario World game where you can play as Catanana, but still, mm, I look forward to that, mm, <laughs> you know. There may not be many model speeds without that on DeviantArt, but there may be a blue character or two, <laughs> or about Catanana, you know, then, mm, you know, you expect more some ideas, I don't know, mm, we'll have to see, but anyway, mm, we'll have to see, but anyway, um, so it's kind of interesting. Mm, yeah, lots of things going on. But yeah, we continue to work on all kinds of cool stuff. All kinds of different things, man. It's so great. Mm, you know, mm. I have a guy that he's called Ro, mm, short for Rotund. Mm. He weighs about 400 pounds, maybe more. And um, 
he has a healing factor. Mm -hmm. He basically, so every all of these people are from this place called the Hood mm -hmm. or Neighborhood, which is basically a uh, very sketchy mm -hmm. part of the galaxy of the Star Ocean to the entire galaxy mm -hmm. that we never see, mm -hmm. never seen before. Mm -hmm. Okay, and all these people, of course, they also wear these awesome hoods. Mm -hmm. You know, the great guy. You know, all those people—they wear these awesome hoods. You know, so they, you know, the hood. So you know, it's like these guys are on the hood. You know, he's a hood. He's from the hood. You know, they wear these things that so you can't tell who they are, or it's hard to tell who they are. You know, so it's a lot of cool stuff going on with these guys. Mm -hmm. Different suits, different uniforms, and whatnot. It's great. It's great. And they all—they're all symbologically, genetically altered. Mm -hmm. Okay, and basically, they were like symbolical genetics, the creations that you know that basically were, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to do that, but still. Only scheduled for quote unquote scheduled for disposal, but the Dr. Lion God, the real Dr. Lion God, was like, mm -hmm, kill, you know, I can't kill, come to kill these people. I mean, they didn't do anything wrong, they're just not powerful enough for us, you know, to use. The military says that they're not powerful enough to use, I don't, they don't need to be killed, you know. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ship them out to uh, basically, you know, fertility clinics all over the world. I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna ship them out, you know. Give them to these people, they can get you know, have parents and grow up and you know have a nice happy lives, maybe, you know. <laughs> and it'll be cool. Of course, uh, they also find out they have powers. Oh, one second, excuse me. Mm. Yeah, these cool powers. Mm. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Poor old thing. Yeah, so uh, again, looking through all this stuff, you find stuff you you forgot about, and it's like, oh uh, Ruby. Yeah. Hurry. So basically, what road tons power? Is he's the healer of the group? <clears throat> okay, he has symbological healing abilities. Okay, including automatic regeneration of any injury. <clears throat> okay, you cannot permanently damage him. He's, you know, this guy is like the kingpin. He's like basically um, put um. What I what it was. He's basically a combination of wolf. He's basically combined the Wolverine and Blob together. <clears throat> Okay, with no claws, of course. <laughs> no enemy skeleton, no claws. But Wolverine and the Blob, and he's a he's a brother. <laughs> he's a brother. Okay, <laughs> he's a big brother with a tiny boy. He's like, yeah, <laughs> and he likes to fight. He likes that. He's a master of kung fu. So he's basically awesome in his own ways. And it's like, oh, you may be thinking, oh, yeah, how's, how's a giant dude like that do kung fu? He does not leap around. Okay, this guy does not leap around, but he does do kung fu stances. <laughs> he does get low. Let me show you. Let me show you. That. He does get low. He does do his horse. <clears throat> okay. He does do his bow. You know. <clears throat> he does do his bow. You know. He gets. The, he does know all this stuff. You know. <clears throat> Let's see right here. So like, like this. And then you just do it like that. <laughs> he knows that. No. He, you know. This is uh, Saram Sanchi. You know. Kimachi. You know. He get, he knows that stuff. <clears throat> he teaches. He has, he has a kung fu dojo with a bunch of students. You know, with some dedicated students in it. That's where the hood's main ba operating base is. You know. He is. Te he teaches all these kids. He finds with special powers. All this awesome stuff, and he's like, "Oh yeah, he loves fights." So he's like, he's actually trained, trying to to train his enemies while they're fighting with him. You know, there's like one fight I had coming up where he's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, this girl's gonna treat who's like boxing, who basically is a boxer, but also does ballet for her leg work." You know, that does ballet. He's a kickboxer, but she does ballet as her leg work. So she basically can easily just dodge out the way of just about anyone and then just hit them where they can't, they're not expecting it. You know, she's really good. But he, he cannot hurt him from very much at all. So she like it's an off. Let's see, good. She cannot hurt him. She basically just going there, and eventually at this point we're like, okay, yeah, okay, no, yo, come on, come on, you can do better than that. Come on, try again. No, no. Look at it. Look, you're letting yourself wide open. Come on, do it, do it again. Do it again. Like, are you trying to train me? <laughs> like, yeah, apparently you need it. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> you know, she's like trying to punch him. He's like, <laughs> get him in the face and stuff. He's like. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, you're, you're real. Come on, come on, yes, 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 yeah, keep it going, keep it going. It's like, uh, yeah, kick, ticking him off, ticking him off. It's like, uh, ah, ah. It's like uh, kicking him, doing spot kicks, you know, to the to the rib cage, you know, that kind of stuff, you know. It's so cool, you know, spot kicks to his rib cage, and it's like, what, well, I'm working. It's like, it's like, psh, psh. I'm like oh, okay, those are good kicks, those are good kicks, come on, give me some more, give me some more. You know, it's like, ah, ah, you know, it's so great. It's such a great character. And he's good comedy relief and he's so much fun. It's, it's, it's so awesome. I'm, I'm looking forward to making this comic for you guys. But I gotta go back here now. I don't want you hearing that loud noise. If you're you're walking on headphones, listen to your headphones because, you know, even though they're not as good as mine, they're so loud. All right, mom's coming, so I'll see you next time.